Okay, let's see what we have in the other side of this board. Plug this in. Thank you so much, says Vicky Shore, for a thousand thunderbolts. PP3V42 is present. PP bus is present but low, meaning the SMC is not turning on, meaning it's an SMC issue or an SMC reset issue. Is SMC reset high or low? SMC reset is 1.44 volts. So we have an issue with SMC reset circuit or SMC. All right. Let's remove SMC reset chip, and if we remove the SMC reset chip and SMC reset is high, we're lucky, and all this board would need is an SMC reset chip. If we remove the SMC reset chip on this board and it doesn't work, that means the SMC is pulling it down. So, and I will go over the why of that the moment I remove this chip. Okay chip removed. So let's just open up a, a schematic and a board view for the 820-3536 that this is, so I can show you all what's going on there. 820-3536. Now, there's no green light in the charger, and in order to have a green light in the charger, the f what? Ah, is that about weird? Oh, not now. <laughs> okay, in order to have a green light on the charger, I need for PP3V42 underscore G3 hot to be present. PP3V42 underscore G3 hot. So here, this chip is going to pass PP3V42 underscore G3 hot to this chip. This chip is going to take the adapter send signal and send it over to the system management controller on the sys1 wire line. Sys1 wire here is going to go to the SMC chip. That's what's going to turn the charger on. Now our charger is not turning on right now. The charger, as you saw, is not tur turning green or orange. The SMC itself is going to turn on when SMC reset L is present. SMC reset L is a signal that's going to keep the SMC from trying to turn on before all the power rails have stabilized. This chip is going to keep SMC reset L low for maybe like 100 to 200 milliseconds. Think of it like a brownout detector. It's just going to make sure that PP3V42 is exactly 3.42 volts before it turns on. Now there's two ways I can tell before I even measure SMC reset L that the SMC is off. The SMC not ju doesn't just communicate with the charger, it also just communicates with the chip that creates voltage required for the machine, U7100, which is going to create PP bus G3 hot. See over here we have an SMC data line over here, the data line, the bidirectional data line speaking with this chip, and this chip is creating PP bus G3 hot at the wrong voltage. It's creating it at 12.23 rather than 12.56, and it usually creates it at 12.56 when the SMC works, 12.23 when it doesn't. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, so let's see what we get over here. What, now that we have turned off the, now we've removed the SMC reset L chip. So when I plug this in, as you can see, we get a green light on the charger. It's not going to turn on because SMC, re it's not, no, not going to turn on. So as you can see here, after removing the SMC reset chip, we are getting a green light on the charger. And we're also getting 3.4 volts on SMC reset, meaning this is most likely a problem with SMC reset. So let me just get a replacement chip from a donor. Thank you, Anel, for this board that has a already remote placed SMC and a jagged looking SMC reset chip. That's fine. I'll, yeah, we'll make a. Yeah, I'll just ask Apple to sell me one. That'll that'll go great. All right, so we do this. And we're going to replace that chip with another one. And once this works, my accountant's assistance machine will work, and hopefully he can go back to making sure that I don't get owned by the IRS. And... Yeah. Okay, do that.
So hopefully you understand why it is that I checked PPBush G3 hot to confirm that the SMC was off. And I hope you understand why it is that 12.28 volts versus 12.56 volts means something to me. The chip that creates PPBush G3 hot communicates with the SMC. And this is where pattern recognition comes in handy because I don't have a manual for this or anything like that. It's just that every single time that the SMC has been corroded or broken or this not working right or it's not turning on, I get 12.28 versus when it works, I get 12.56. So I've associated in my head that when the system management controller is working, I will get 12.56 volts and when it's not working, I'll get 12.28 volts. I need your quarterly filings, please, says IRS. What? Get out of here. Get the f Get the fuck out of my store. We are closed. Anyway, back to this. Let's see if this thing gives me fan spin now that we've replaced the SMC. Yeah, SMC reset LIC. Uh, And it works! Beautiful. Lovely. So, now this machine works. Now we move on to some more important questions. Why are my company's finances being held on a MacBook? <laughs> they're not. They're not. They're not. Oh, that's, that's, no, that's MacBook! Just, no, this is, just, this is just for, like, generic stuff, not yet. Like the, sh the shitty companies? Yes. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> the ones that aren't as complex or as special. Okay. <laughs> Can you hand this to one of the... The three people in the front and just say, Lewis asked if you could please reassemble this. Okay, thank you and so it'll be set and working. Great, thank you. No more MacBook! <laughs> well, you're gonna have to tell him that. <laughs> I will actually. <laughs>